How's it going, everybody? This is David Jones again here for Speak On It for Mental Health. I'm here with Two Day Presents, the engineer. He's going to tell us about what he's experienced during these times. He's going to tell us how he's kind of used his music to get further ahead and to help him cope with some of the situations he's dealing with. Take it away. Hello, thank you for having me, Dave. COVID has been rough. Never anticipated it lasting this long. As a parent, being with a child all day is a different kind of experience and feeling like you have to be as much of a teacher as a parent as well. It's, it's pretty taxing, you know? Um, not being able to have the full liberty and freedoms that we're used to can definitely be challenging. You know, not going outside as much. Definitely feel like it affects my mood. But I've been making music probably more than ever as a result of it. I feel that it also gave me the opportunity to reconnect with the person that I truly am. And I've been focusing on making positive music and reinforcing what I want, keeping hope alive for myself. And as a result, keeping hope alive for other individuals. Wow. And that's amazing. It, a lot of us are, you know, especially being an engineer myself and being an artist myself, a lot of us are, are experiencing difficult times, but then using our, our music to, to, to try and push through those times and share our message. So it's amazing to see. Which leads me into my next question. What exactly has changed as far as, because I know you were, you were getting into the lockdown and kind of what's been going on being inside all the time. What exactly has changed since before COVID to now, to now where you're at currently? Well, before COVID, I was, um, I was working. <laughs> but due to situations um, by my own design, I decided to stop working. Also, you know, it's just, you gotta be mindful of what times you would normally go places, you know? Like now we kinda wanna avoid going out on the weekend. We kinda wanna figure out times when we're not gonna be around certain crowds, you know? And like kids, they wanna have fun. They don't wanna really understand, hey, why are we not, you know, going out and doing the things we used to do? You know, it's uh, it's hard because you, uh, we have a natural tendency as humans to socialize and want to be around each other and to be like, ah, uh, you know, friends and family, like, uh, I can't come over, you know, I've been in contact, I've been exposed. Personally, I've actually had COVID in my wife and my family. So forcing yourself and getting those calls is that making sure that you're okay and that's cool. I, I really appreciate it. But this experience has been unlike any other and so then that would definitely tie into how you're being treated you know because of your current circumstance being in such a densely populated area you know it's yeah. they'll treat you a lot differently if that's the case if they know you know about your circumstance right yeah definitely right and and so so your music like how is that uh, kind of what what sort of focus were you going with your music are you telling your story or what exactly was your focus there? Um, my focus has been self-awareness. Early on, I was kind of trying to preach how to live. But then at some point, I realized I was getting disconnected from who I was. And I didn't just want to be another person just telling somebody else what to do. I had to reflect that I'm an individual and I still got my own problems. I can't tell people to solve theirs and I'm not solving mine's. And then I just started sharing my problems and things, you know, that's not always right, but just trying to help myself as much. Having more of a focus, my limits and breaking through them as opposed to just trying to be a preacher. Right, right. And I have made, you know, some changes along the way. All of us have, I think, as musicians, lyricists, songwriters, we've made some changes along the way because we start to find our voice and we start to find who we are when it comes to, I believe personally, it becomes when you are in these circumstances and you're kind of feeling that pressure of life and you're being put in such a corner, that's when the best music comes out of you. When you're when you're kind of str restricted in those corners and the best the best music and the best work comes out of you in those circumstances. And I, I think it's absolutely amazing because you see it in every artist and their, their journey, there's always a big struggle and then a huge triumph after this big, big struggle. And it's it's just absolutely amazing. So, so lastly, what kind of advice would you give to another you? 
a young engineer that's hungry, you know, wants to get wants to get their music together, wants to work with other people, just starting out. What would you what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, just starting out, I would say uh, aim high, but have fun. You know, most importantly, it's whatever you're curious about, whatever you're interested in, whatever you're having fun with at the moment that brings you to the next moment. If you look up, you might be overwhelmed and you may be plagued with fear and doubt and hesitation. If I did that, if I said in 15 years, I'm going to be doing this, I couldn't believe myself. It just was a natural, slow process of, oh, that's how I sound when I record my voice. Can I clean it up a little bit? You know, incremental growth, you know, small wins, gains, you know, consistency and confidence. Absolutely. I think, I think the most biggest, you know, trial that I've personally gone through as an artist is the confidence level, you know, having other people like for you, for, for example, I come to you and I, I'll say, man, those vocals that you got, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. That's phenomenal. You know what you're doing, <laughs> but uh, no, I think it's amazing. I think the work that you're doing is amazing. And I think that definitely your music is going to influence a lot of people. You're well on your way, especially having such a story like that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Two Day Presents. We do appreciate him taking his time from where, where exactly in New York are you from? Yeah, I'm in the Bronx. Bronx, New York. Bronx, New York. So all the way down from the Bronx, New York, we have Two Day Presents. Thank you for your time. Definitely are looking forward to see what you have to, to bring in store for, for our viewers, for our listeners, and you have yourself a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you.